What is up guys, Rake here and welcome to another episode of Better Minecraft. So, in this episode I want to do some uh, upgrades to this house, uh, mainly on the interior. And as you can tell I did add a few extra blocks since the last episode. So I've added some extra beams here, one there, added some lanterns as well. It's a lot easier with this dragon because you can actually like kind of hover like as if you're in creative. It can be a bit tricky but once you get used to it it's actually really easy. But yes, actually what I want to do as well on this episode before we do any building whatsoever is that I want to do is actually start on the quests because I completely forgot when I spawned in this world I did get a quest book. So, uh, I did bind a new key. I don't have the quest book anymore but I searched in the controls and you can actually just press uh, any key you want or you have to set it and then you can do some of this. So, I'm guessing brand new experience what you meant to do. I don't know, I think you just joined. Oh, there you go. So then you get new books. So, what does this book tell you? Uh, welcome to the Better Minecraft mod pack. The quest will go... Uh, oh, all right. Well, we already know that. We don't need this book. There we go. So, the next book. Uh, Animal Dictionary. Is this just going to tell me uh, on all the animals and stuff? Oh, okay. Actually, that's actually worth keeping. What the heck? There's some weird animals in this. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a video. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right, so there's loads of... they got mooses, you've got lobster, hammerhead shark, ender grade, sunbird. Okay, so there's like quite a few actual mobs. We can actually keep this. This might come in handy if we come across something we haven't seen before. Uh, but we do have some quests to do. And we actually get rewards, I noticed, as well. So craft a light and dark chest. I don't know what that does. Uh, right click with a diamond to go to the deep dark. Okay, so we need some cold deep stone and some chains right, I'm guessing this is underground so yeah I think we've got to go underground so let's go we're gonna go underground a little bit hopefully we can find a deep cave I'm actually gonna go like quite deep this time and also I just noticed like there is actual seasons in this game isn't there because right now like everything seems to be freezing around us and the trees have changed color all right well I'm gonna get some probably an extra pickaxe going and then we're gonna head uh, straight down the caves and try to find uh, the deep dark block whatever it was called what's it called again the oh cold deep stone that's it there is some weird sounds i don't know if it's rain or oh, actually is it oh there you go we already got it the deep stone we are going to need some obsidian though what is that what is that hello what what was that it's like a little i don't know i don't know what that was like a little goblin with um with a creeper head that was very weird. Right, well, actually, I just realized uh, this is actually kind of handy because we can get some obsidian pretty easily. And also, we're going to actually need to go back up and craft a diamond pickaxe. Oh! Oh, my goodness, I am so lucky. There is water right here. Oh, please don't chase me. Oh, my goodness. That scared me so much. Oh, there's a bear right there. That scared me as well. Whew. Okay, well, I was going in here, guys, to get some books so that we can get a, <laughs> a what's it called, an enchanting table going because I want to use up these levels on a pickaxe to help mine with the obsidian. But it looks like I've got to go all the way back up now. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we've got our enchanting table. Now, I wanted to show you guys, actually, I did make some floors. It took me a while to figure this out, not going to lie. I've done it all off camera. But yeah, uh, oh, I forgot to delete this part. But yes, uh, I did make a staircase going up, and I also forgot to place some windows here. Dang it. Uh, it goes up to this floor, which uh, there's just this place up here, which I haven't figured out what to do with it. Uh, we have some windows here, another window here that leads to this tower. I haven't done anything down here, but I did make a spiral staircase going to the top. And there's also up here, we can go up the ladder. It brings you to a staircase here, and another one up here, which brings you to the landing pad for the dragon which works very well actually and also uh, another little balcony here with a view of the tower <laughs> we do have a view of down there I suppose and then I believe this is the last room all the way to the top which I was most probably going to make the bedroom because it has some cool views yeah that's pretty much it and I also did use these I found uh, out about these not too long ago some oak posts which is a really really cool and if we go down was it here yep we can go up to the top where the enchanting room is going to be it's a bit echoey in here. Oh yeah, there is also this balcony right here. Which is another cool little balcony. But yeah, if we just go up to the top. Here we go. And now we need to figure out how do we place 
our enchanting table. And I just realized I forgot to place some windows there as well. All right, well, let me just uh, try to figure out how to place all this. And I just realized as well, I made some with some dark oak. I thought it was just going to make some normal bookshelves, but it didn't. It made some dark oak ones. <laughs> so we have to deal with those for a little while as well. All right, there we go. <laughs> we finally have 30 levels. Oh, and I forgot my um, lapis. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have to go all the way back down. Oh, that is actually kind of cool. Look at that, guys. If you just put a pickaxe in there, it will stay in there, but it will be floating like, like as if you just dropped it. But it is inside here. So now all we have to do is add some lapis, and we get efficiency four and efficiency four. Great. <laughs> uh, we get a flame bow, or we could maybe get vein mining. Hmm, I think I might actually make another... Uh, pickaxe. Uh, let's get rid of all these little blocks here. Can you do that? No, you cannot. Okay. Well, let's just make a normal crafting table. Place that there. This isn't how I'm going to leave it in the end. It is kind of messy, I know. It's just I don't know how to place it all right now. But we're going to make another pickaxe. There we go. And this one gives us vein mining. And efficiency free. Okay. Well, I kind of want to go test out the vein mining. And also we need to go and get a few more bits of obsidian. Okay, uh, where is my vein mining pickaxe? This one. Okay, does it help with this? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, that is amazing. What is this? Dead sculpt veins? Okay. Oh, this is actually so cool. Oh, look at this. How much? I already got 57. Oh, look at that. Sick. This is amazing. That gives you so many levels as well. All right, if we could get fortune on this, that would be amazing. All right, well... <laughs> That's enough of this. Or is it? I keep having to mine. Oh, it's amazing. Wait, but if they mines rock as well? <gasps> okay, okay. We'll be able to do some really cool builds from now on. This is pretty much like the, um, the axe. How it just chops down the whole tree. Alright, well, I need to swap though. Wait, does it work with obsidian? We need to go test that out, actually. Let's go do that quickly. Please work. That'd be amazing if it did. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess that would have been cheating if it did. Oh, it's some diamonds. Is that diamonds? Yeah, it is diamonds. All right, perfect. I might actually leave those until we get like a fortune-free pickaxe or something. But anyway, I'm going to just mine a bunch of obsidian. We actually only need three for this, but I think I might grab a little bit more just so that we have it for a nether portal if we do end up making one. All right, well, I'll see you guys uh, when we're back at the top. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, to finish this quest, we need... Oh, no, I think that was on the bottom, actually. There we go. Some obsidian. Okay, it was not that. Um, <laughs> what was the quest? So, we need obsidian. Chain. That's what I've done. So, what are we crafting? Uh, wait, no. Back. How do we do it? There we go. So, we need... Oh, is it the stone on top? Is that not what I did? Oh, okay. There you go. I missed it up. All right. Um, stone on the top. All right, perfect. Nice. Right, well, we've done quest complete. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. What else is there then? So do we get our reward? Oh, there we go. Nice. Did it automatically give us the levels? I didn't check how many levels I had. Uh, show mob in the deep dark. He's full to find cakes. All right. Well, that is actually kind of cool. So can we just place this down then? And then it says to click on it with a diamond. I think we should try it. Uh, what do I do with this? Beep. What's that? It needs to be in the deep dark to use this item. Okay. All right, well, before we go into the deep dark, let's check our quests just in case we have something else. Seek the gatekeeper and obtain a blue journal. Oh, I know where to get that. That is actually easy to get. Plus 100. Okay. All right. Well, what's this then? Kill Barako? Who the hell is Barako? Barako roaming in the savannah. The bar oh, that's, the, that's that tribe thing that we saw in the first episode, I think. Travel in a small hunting pack. They are one of... One with the mask on their heads, which cannot be removed. Okay. If you're right, give, give some loot. Uh, may contain objects. Okay, well, I think we might actually go do that before we go deep dark. And then, this is Lost Underground many years ago. These heavily armoured knights are not men. Or are they statues? Okay. Alright, well, I think we're going to do that, actually. What's that? Oh, well, that's easy, that one. Just defend from a pillager, out, uh, pillager raid. All right, well, yeah, I'm going to head to the savannah. We're going to bring our dragon. By the way, I completely forgot to mention that I did choose a name from the other episode. I think it was episode two. I can't remember actually what episode we got this guy on. But, yeah, I did choose Peter because it does look like there's a P on it. And I did like the P, so somebody chose Peter. 
I'm sorry I did forget your name, but uh, thank you for the name suggestion. Right, well, would you look at that? We are actually very lucky to have the Savannah so close to our base. But now we got to roam around here for a while until we find these guys. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, I found them. <laughs> I have found them. Okay, we're going to put our dragon down over here. That's their whole little village. It's right next to our house, actually. <laughs> Hopefully they don't come towards our house. All right, you're there. You're all cool. All right, where did you guys go? Look, this is a little tribe area over here. All right, there was a lot. So hopefully I can, like, attack one. I don't know how many I need to kill. Where is that guy? There was one chasing me. Hey, you down there. Come over here. I just want to attack one at a time. Oh, he screams at me. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, these guys are kind of funny. They don't seem to be too hard to kill, actually. They seem quite weak. What's that? What's this? What is happening? Um, okay. Well, actually, let's just go over here quickly and check if we actually did complete the quest. Uh, this guy's actually kind of funny. Um... <laughs> uh, so did I get it? I did not. How many do we need to kill? They had one with the masks which should uh it can't be removed. So hang on. Roaming the savannah, yeah, travel in a small hunting pack. They have one of the masks. Okay, well that seems like it was what I just shot at, no? Alright, well it looks like we're gonna have to kill a few of these. Hopefully we manage to survive. Uh, I am very close to our house, so I'm not gonna place this bed down. Oh, is it this one instead? <laughs> Come here! Ah, there you go. I think I might have... Oh, it's... What's that big guy? Ow! What is this? These guys... These guys are actually so funny when you kill them. I think it's this guy over here shooting me. <laughs> no! Leave me alone! <laughs> Alright, I need to get come back to this. This is impossible. He's just getting healed by his little minions. Go away, you. I said, go away! Yeah, he's already healed up to four again. I, I need to get some arrows or something, because right now this is impossible. Alright, guys, I am way more prepared now. i just done a enchant on a bow. I only got power four, though, unfortunately. Look at that. Pretty whack. Uh, but, actually... I did not want this helmet. I'm just going to put this one on. Uh, that's that's what I keep doing. Okay. That was close. Oh, I keep shifting. I dropped my... <laughs> oh, my goodness. No. Oh, I am so stupid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I was going to say is that I dropped my... Um, boots and now I just lost all my levels yay fantastic ah oh. what was my dragon doing why does he do that it's annoying when he tries to run away and where are my boots that's my question are they up there well I just found some new boots guys and look at that they had feather falling free on them that would have probably uh, stopped me from dying if I had those on instead what is this an emu egg. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was wondering what that was for a second. Well, it was like a special gem or something that just fell from the sky. But I am just going to grab some water and we're going to try to defeat that guy again. Baraco the Sun Chief. Yeah, I think this is who we actually are meant to defeat. So hopefully we can do that. Uh, I do have some golden apples and a power 4 bow now. I did bring my arrows. Yes, I did. Okay, 64. I made a fletching table and bought them from a villager. So... It wasn't too hard to get. Oh no, my game froze. Oh, again. No. Well, this is terrible if my game is freezing like this. Ow. Oh, 
Wow, this isn't going as planned at all. Oh, this is so hard. I'm not even going to be able to get my stuff back. Alright, oh, okay, I got my stuff. Alright, <laughs> I'm going to look it up on the internet if there's an easier way to kill this guy. Oh my goodness, leave me alone! Oh god, you guys are still following me. Alright, I just looked this up on the internet. If you just put a, a mask on... Oh, there you go, I finally got the achievement. Does that mean I can just go slay him now? Okay, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not, okay. Alright, guys, I think I might have figured this out. I have made a pit right underneath uh, this guy here. So all I have to do... Oh, is there more flares than I thought there was? I think there is. Uh, is he friendly right now or not? Uh, Alright, right, well. Ow! Stop attacking me! Alright, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to mine a bit more though. But uh, I'm going to actually drop him. If I if he drops, then hopefully uh, there's lava down the bottom as well. So he'll be in lava, and I looked up on the internet, some say that um when he tries to spawn his minions, they actually spawn on the surface. So they can't actually heal him. So we're gonna give that a go and hopefully that works. Okay, there goes his health. I need to go down there quickly though. Yes! It worked! <laughs> Finally! Oh! Oh, well, all his loot is gone, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, that was, that was hard. That was very, very hard. So, did the quest work, though? It did. Okay, perfect. Alright, well, let's head home, actually. Empty our inventory and then uh, collect our rewards. Oh, look at that. I just made a new chest, and it's a spruce one. It actually looks really nice. <laughs> That's actually a nice little change. I also did get this one. A... Right, this one is actually a new mask and it's a strength one. So that's actually kind of cool. I wish I had that earlier. Actually, saying that, I don't think I would have been able to defeat it anyway. But uh, we do have our quest items now. So if we go here, we can collect it. We get that and all of our levels. Okay, well that wasn't a lot of levels. I was expecting a lot more than that. But, so if I open it, this is a wandering bag and this one as well. What's the difference? How do I how do I open it? Like this? Oh, nothing. But it is a bag. Oh, that's actually kind of good though. And this? Oh, it had some emerald. Okay, just a bunch of random stuff really. That's actually kind of cool though. So that means we have two bags. Can I put a bag in a bag? No, I can't. <laughs> I thought that was like an infinite <laughs> source of uh, space. But anyway, I'm going to actually have a little nap quickly, and then we're going to start on doing some decorations on the house. All right, so let's do some decorating. And this whole lake is almost frozen, I just realized, or the whole river. But uh, down here, we have nothing. I don't know, I'm not, not quite sure what to do down here. But I was thinking maybe we can make our loot room up there. Just make a little tiny staircase to go up. So actually, let me make, there we go, that. And then make a crafting table. And we can place it here for now. There we go. And now we're going to make some stairs. So there we go. Can I make stairs? Here we can. Perfect. Uh, there and there. Alright, nice. So, I was thinking, yeah, up here we can have some storage. So, um, I'm guessing there's probably some special chests or some special, like, storage that you can do. Is there, like, a way to make some very, like, big storage? There's end lotus right there. Uh, there's two pages, actually. There we go. There's a second page. Can we do like iron chests and stuff like that? Poisonous mushroom chest? Never brick chest? Okay, I think none of them actually like give you any extra storage. Oh, uh, <laughs> a boat with a chest. That's actually kind of cool. A treasure chest? But you can't craft that. All right. Well, it looks like we're just going to make a simple chest uh, like so. All right. Let me... Uh... Oh, my game froze. There we go. Let me just get some oak. There we go. Got some oak. And some chests. There's eight. 
and some more. I kind of want to move all of our stuff into here. So for now, though, this isn't going to be very uh, decorating. <laughs> it's not going to be a lot of decorating. It actually looks like I'm going to have to do it this way because there's not enough room to walk by. All right, there we go. We actually have a bit extra, like a little bit more room as well. I think, what can we craft for this? I think there is some like posts or pillars. I made like little posts myself, but it looks like there isn't actually any pillars. Um, can we do, let's search for dark, oh, dark oak, there we go. And that's a log. I swear I saw somebody do one in a video. Oh, it doesn't look like there is actually, unless it's this, the, just a dark oak post. I can give that a try. Ah, that's what I was looking for, I think. Oh, this is spruce, I just realized. It wasn't dark oak. Is this it? No, it's not. Okay. Ah, that actually kind of looks cool, though. I kind of like that. So let me make some more. I'm going to have to make some more spruce. So place that down. There we go. Perfect. All right, we've got two. Now do that. All right, now we can go up here and go one, two. All right, yeah, I like that. That is actually really nice. And actually what we can do now is probably... If I get some spruce logs... Oh no, we're going to actually do this. We're going to get rid of the bark. So get the axe out. There we go. Now we have to pick all of this back up. <laughs> go into here and we can do that. No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> uh, how do you do a normal pillar then? Oh, it's three in the middle. Does it not work with like this? Oh, okay. Well, hang on. Let me think, figure this out. All right, I have figured it out. And now we can go all the way across. Like that. Yeah, that's a nice little railing there so we don't fall off. And then we can just add all of our stuff in here. So I'm probably going to do like wood chest up here. Uh, but we're going to need all our wood on us right now. But for now, we're going to want to add a bit more details. I was thinking maybe we can add some like shelving to decorate a bit. We can even add some... What is it called again? I forget the names all the time. I'm actually going to use some dark oak though. And I think it's like this you craft it. Yes. And it is called dark oak supports okay nice so yeah if we can add some of these in like that one there one there just add a bit more support then here we can add a lantern later on maybe uh yeah we can do that and then add a lantern i think that'll look nice uh can we add another support here i think it's going to be too hectic if we just add supports everywhere all right so if we craft some of these and there we go grab that as well my inventory is already filling up. <laughs> but there was... That's it. A pantry is what we want to make. Uh, I need slabs. Okay. Craft some slabs. There we go. I am running out of space already. Uh, get rid of this for the moment. Alright. So, put some slabs there. Then some trap doors on either side. And there you go. You have a pantry. <laughs> and now if I do this and this, if I'm not mistaken, we get a pantry or spruce stone counter. Okay. So can I place that there? And it is actual like uh, loot as well, so you can put stuff in there. Oh, that is actually really, really cool. Okay, let's actually craft a few more of these. So there we go, one, two, one, two. And there we go, one, two, one, two. That's two more. Then put these on top. There we go, perfect. All right, place that there and that there. All right, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. I really like the uh, chopping board like on top that you can use. What else could we add into our build here? Um, wait, there's a sink? How do I make a sink? So I need a spruce counter. Hmm, I don't know if that's going to work, but we can give it a go. So we need some polished andesite slabs with the counter. Okay, so if I do this, make some... There you go, polished andesite, some slabs... If I'm not mistaken, it was two slabs and two pieces of wood. All right, perfect. And now if I combine it with a bucket, we get a sink. All right, that's actually not too bad. I'm going to swap it round though. What do I use? Oh, there you go. I meant to use one of these instead. I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to do sink there and then that there. <laughs> that's actually really cool. Is there like a tap? Can we make a tap by any chance for the sink? A tap, what's this? Nope, that is not it. Um, I don't know what else you could call it. Uh, hmm. Oh, look at that. We can make some shelves as well. All right, actually, let's place it there. There we go. Do that, then that. Uh, oh, that's actually really cool. Let me put some bread there. 
There we go. Grab the bread. <laughs> yeah, I like this a lot. Please tell me we can pot some actual like plant pots as well. I think that'd be really nice if we could. Uh, we have a little coffee table that we could craft. It's like so much, actually. Well, I'm going to go off camera and just decorate this whole room here pretty much. And uh, I'll be back once I've done that. All right, guys. So I have done a bit of decorating and I just realized it is snowing. This is actually kind of cool. Um, I am liking this a lot. There's only this part that won't actually, like, I don't think it wants to be cold enough in here. <laughs> but all around it is going to be nice and snowy, which is very, very nice. I like the snow. And I have done some decorations. And as you can see, we have got some sofas. Can I see them? Yes, you can. Actually, I didn't even test it out yet. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that looks so cool. I made a little fireplace down here. And I've got loads of shelves here where we can add some stuff. So I just took a bunch of random stuff that I had. Uh, there we go. Put like, an emerald there. Can't put anything on that. Okay. Um, well, that's actually storage. Okay. They even check that even. <laughs> All right. That then. Let's put a bit of gold there. Bit there. Um, let's get this head up there. I don't know where I got that from. But I got one head. There we go. I don't want to put any food actually. Oh, we need to get some books. That's probably a good idea. We just get some books and place them down here. But yeah, I've got a fireplace here, some little bookshelves. I've got a coffee table, a sofa, which is actually very easy to make. There was something else I wanted to make, but I didn't actually craft it yet. I wanted to make some lamps that you can place there, maybe for some lighting. Um, up here, I'm going to put like some golden carrots, uh, some emeralds, look at that. Maybe a bottle of honey. Let's put two bottles of honey. There we go. All right, nice. Uh, I swapped these out for these ones as well. So there we go. And some bananas because it is a kitchen. Oh. I have done what here? You can throw bananas on the ground? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, can I stop, please? <laughs> oh, look at that. So if you throw that on the ground, you can just walk and go, oh, no. <laughs> I have no control, by the way. That's not me doing that movement. <laughs> it's the game. <laughs> Wait, can I... Is it always going to do it now? Oh, yeah, it is. All right, how do I get rid of it? Oh, stop. Stop. Can I get rid of it? All right, again, just by whacking it. Okay, good. There we go. I wonder if you can put stuff in that, actually. All right. <laughs> Let's just add some other stuff. I'm going to put, like, a fish up here. It still is the um, the kitchen. Uh, up there, I was thinking maybe... Can I put a mask? Which one looks bigger, this one or that one? Mm, this one looks cooler, I think. I'm going to put this one up here. All right, there we go. And plonk. Oh, actually, you can put two masks. So let's put that one up there. Oh, go in my hotbar. There we go. Eh, yeah, that looks all right. All right, we do have some plenty of storage. Oh, yeah, and a bench here. You can just sit down and relax. Oh, and if I can jump off. There we go. You do get stuck in it, though, so you have to watch out. Uh, we do have up here, and we have plenty of storage for stuff up here as well. So let's put, like, some valuables up here. So let's put some gold blocks. Uh, some honeycombs, not really valuable, but hey, I'll put it up there. This is very valuable though, beer. <laughs> I kind of want to try it out, so let me just put some random stuff on here. There we go. I don't know what else. So you guys can tell me in the comments what you think we should add. Uh, what happens if you put a flower? That's what I did want to see though. I do have a flower. There we go. And Okay. All right, yeah, well, nothing special. All right, well, anyway, for the next episode, I will have all of the chests sorted out. So I'm going to fill all of these up with all the stuff we have outside. Because uh, right now it is a huge mess down there. And I wanted to just move it all into here. Oh, and I also do need two doors here, I noticed. And another block there, probably. But I want to test out this beer. Let's see what it does. Let me get some hunger going. Oh, and my game froze. There we go. Okay, nice. All right, give me some first, please. Or hunger, I mean. I think it actually diminishes your hunger. So let's give it a try. Okay, wow. So you got haste too. You got speed too. Oh, and I almost trampled my crops. And you got regen. That is actually insane. That is, isn't it? Yeah. Haste too. Okay. Well, if you want to go and farm, you can actually just eat some of this and then you can just farm easily. I wonder how you craft it, though. That is my question. Uh, beer. Oh, you can't craft it. Oh, that is interesting. I thought you could. Huh. All right. Well, anyway, that's uh, all we're going to have time for, though, today. Unfortunately, yeah, it took a long time to try to defeat that um, Baraco. I think that's what it's called. 
But yeah, anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.